with Horn playing Flappy Obriator. Useless playboy Jensen Button is, in his first mainstream role, Stuart Dixon. Danny DeVito is Bernie Eccleston with Anna Friel as his wife. They say they split up due to separation. We say because she wanted Lewis to win. Well, Bernie didn't. And rounding off the cast, Bruce Willis is Michael Schumacher, who Lewis beats in the last race, even though he had long retired. More lies on the Down United, more unrealistic than driven, more badly cast than W. With the budget provided by these two idiots, and all the complexity and excitement of this advert, coming soon to a fleet. Do you talk to yourself? Are you a schizophrenic? Do you suffer from Tourette's? Do people in the street think you're a moron when you talk to yourself, even though you know exactly what's happening in your own mind? Well, don't worry with the JML phone. It looks just like a real mobile phone that all the kids use, but in fact has nothing in it whatsoever. It's just a face. Now you can walk around the stuff to talk to yourselves without looking an idiot. The JML fake phone. Available at no good retailers. What are you looking at? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? What have I? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? Everything to your satisfaction, sir. Yes, thank you. That's good. Hi, I'm Fletcher, the Fletcher from Lakeland Radio. <laughs> Who are you? Do you recognize me? No. Why, don't you recognize the devilishly handsome good looks, the smart but casual tie, the shiny shoes? Ding! Who would it be this person you're describing? David Beckham, Colleen oh, Nolan. Oh, I understand clearly, my good man. You obviously haven't seen my photo over my column in the Northwest Duty Mail. The evening what? The Northwest Duty Mail, my good man. So weekdays, Monday to Saturday for 30p. 35 on a Saturday. Oh, you mean the local rag? I don't waste. I don't read that. Just only waste valuable seconds of my time. Well, perhaps you recognise my voice from the radio. What radio station on? Six Music, Radio Cumbria, The Bay. No, I don't work for crap, you know. Legland Radio, 1.4 FM. The let. Lakeland what? Lakeland Radio, my good man! I'm Fletcher, the Fletcher from Lakeland Radio! I host the afternoon show from 3 till 5, and then the evening show on a Saturday from 7 till 10. I didn't move to any of them for a large quantity of money, but instead they went bust having to pay the money. So now I crawl back to Lakeland Radio to do it for free! Here's my hat! Hello there! A fine man. Much like our weather girl Sally Mitchin. Sounds as bitter. Small lamb. In real life, ugly as a mule. Hi there! I'm sorry, sir. But you have no booking. Oh, of course I have no booking. I'm Fletcher. The Fletcher from Legland Radio. I don't no need a booking. booking under the name Peter Fletcher. I know that, because I'm Fletcher, THE Fletcher, I'm like, no, I don't need oh else. <laughs> I would be completely surrounded by fans. I have never heard of you, and neither anyone else. You're not a celeb, you're just a nobody. You can't dine here, because you have not even attempted to make a reservation. Can I have a photo of you? Suddenly, here you are. I'd do anything for a fan! Not you, you loser, I meant him! I admire anyone that can deal with scum like you. Oh, forget it. Hide here, please, sir. 
Oh, of course, because Fletcher, the Fletcher, from Black Bump Radio, always has time for fans. That was no autograph book. You just signed away your right to sue us for ABH and GBH. For once, I'm speechless. Oh, pleasure to meet up with you, Mr. Fletcher. Oh, are you a fan of mine, Mr. Bouncer? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm glad we met up. Oh, right. After all, it was you who convinced my wife of ten years live on air that she was a lesbian. Oh! God! Oh! 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 I'm sorry, I'm late for the meeting. I'm a very busy man. Good morning, consumer. Welcome to what they call the Green Odd Post Office forward slash village store. As I was attempting to explain to you, uh, as I was attempting to explain to you, I'm a very busy man. I've got meeting to me, so it's just like a pack of cigarettes. Look, here's the money now. We even got the correct number of coins. If a feller were to buy what the call a cigarette said feller ought to think about his action look i'm not interested just give me the cigarettes if said feller was attempting to smoke a cigarette on board a sinking vessel he would in fact be breaking the 1849 non-smoking law aboard seafaring vessels although there are Three exceptions to this rule. The rule that was a treaty signed by Britain and many of her, what they call, empirical commonwealth forces. And with France in 1842, several years before the treaty actually came into act. The first such exception is involves people smoking on board fish mongering vessels when they're wearing nothing but a jock strap made of pure fish scales. Oh, what time is it? If a feller were to check his gold hunter watch, said fellow would find that the time would be if a feller could open said hunter watch would be five and Twenty minutes past three bells. Wait and twenty six seconds. In telling you the time, I have therefore made a mistake, and it is now twen five and twenty hours past three bells and fifty seven what they call fifty eight what the call five and I'm sorry, I'll have to just go forget it. In his haste to leave the store, said feller has left his money on counter. Considering that there were no transactions made, of course, it would be wrong for me to put this in the till and give it to my employer. Therefore, net profit to me. Um, hello, I, I, I would just like to pop in and say, Ahoy there. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I would like, well, I had bought these pervert specs yesterday. And I tried them out last night and they don't work, so I would like my money back, if you would. I have taken over the store from said jackass when said feller had a minor bout of what they call heart disease and he's now in hospital for several years. Uh, I know he is, it's pretty sad, isn't it? But we usually have quite an arrangement, so if you could just hand it in. I would like to, but any <laughs> deals made with the previous encumbrant of this position are now what they call cease to exist. Before I can accept faulty merchandise back, 
I a fellow would have to provide me with what they call written parchment, which <laughs> I would print a number on it called a receipt. <laughs> I'm afraid by not having a receipt I can no longer hand you back, take back these pervert specs and hand you money for your purchase. Therefore, I would have to ask you to, what the call, leave the store before an embarrassing situation occurs where I <laughs> call, what the call, military police. Good evening, sir. Could I buy some latex condoms? I'm afraid the seawater has gone into my brain. I can no longer hear. Whispered tones. Would you mind saying it a bit louder, please? Um, I me would like to buy some latex cottons. I'm afraid I didn't hear that again, sir. Perhaps you could repeat that utterance a bit what the call louder, so said feller at the back of the store can hear it as well. He could then give me the gist of what you are trying to buy. No. Listen, I know you're a very nice person and all, but would you please see this from my position? I am a well-respected man around these parts, sir. Uh, and so, me and my girlfriend would like to move our relationship up a gear, if you know what I mean, sir. If it is at all possible, I would like to buy some protection. Oh, I see. Don't worry, sir. Protection is what you want, and protection is what a feller will probably get. <laughs> I'm glad you understand, suddenly. Yes, I... Although this is just a village store, unlike American stores, which I have frequented during my time at sea, we do not have a license to sell firearms. However, if you accompany me to my store, when I call it store, I mean much is what I call uh, my house, you, you will find a vast array of weapon merchandise, such as bazookas and shotguns and 18th century muskets. I also have a trade link with what they call Ian Cornell, a security guard who happens to own several firearms. No, no, you idiot! I would like to buy some lay... Oh, good. Is uh, Mr. Raw around? Is no, um, uh, I haven't seen him all day. Who are you, then? I'm, uh, uh, uh... Nelson, Horatio Nelson. I'm afraid I do not know what a latex condom is. Oh, shut up, you bloated idiot. Well, um... Uh, well, I was just trying to find him because he was he was in my bookies yesterday trying to bet on some horses, and his horse finished second. Well, the thing was that the horse in front of him got disqualified. Disqualified? And, was, and he, his bet was right after that. I was going to give him this thousand pounds, but I guess I'm going to just have to give it to the old people. No, no, don't do that, my good man! I, for it is I, Mr. Ritter! Glad you fell for that false story, because I wanted false to talk story. to you for something else. My son was a pupil at your school, and you gave you, because he misspelled his name out with a bit of panic on the front page of his exam, you not 20% off his mark. That 20% cost you his place at university. I'm waiting for this. Well, uh, oh no!